Zoe, how are you? This must be the handsome Murphy. You just let him move up to the pylon, that's all. And if he stops, that's okay too. Did you, did he eat the treat? No. Oh, you didn't test him yet, I'm sorry. Okay, see if he can eat, see if he can eat the treat. Okay, good. This is our first session with Murphy using Treat Retreat. And when you came in, I want the dog to have me on uh, his radar, and hence I uh, called out to you and said hello. I'm not really talking to the dog, I just acknowledged that I knew he was there. And it's your role then to see if he can eat and a treat, right? And the reason we do that is I just want to see if his stress level is manageable and can you freely eat a treat without asking for any behaviors and he could and if he couldn't well we'd have to alter something so what we're doing here is we are working the first step of treat retreat which is the approach stage we have a pylon set out i don't know this dog and we weren't going to let him uh, come past that pylon for um, our first rep now I want you to really have a look at um, where he stops. Now, he's, he's, he's doing something very typical here. He's not really sure what's going on. He doesn't understand the pattern. Um, he did have some acclimation in, uh, in my yard. And um, so he's doing a lot of sniffing, a lot of looking around, perhaps a little bit of a avoidance behavior. But I'm patient because this protocol there, see, he looked at me, so I toss a treat to him. And then I will toss to away. All right? But this protocol goes at the dog's pace. It's completely voluntary. I don't call him to me. He tells me where he feels safe. And I'm always asking, how is this for you, Murphy? And right now he's saying, oh, this is a little weird. And that's perfectly okay. So we're doing a little sniffing around, and I'm waiting for him to acknowledge me. And that's simply by uh, looking up at me. No point really in throwing a treat if he's off uh, sniffing around. And he's kind of moving in toward me at his own pace. There he has a look. I toss a treat to him. And then away. And you're asking me there, is it okay if he checks in with me? It's like he's looking for reassurance. And yes, indeed, he is looking for reassurance. We want your role to be passive, but it's okay absolutely to smile at him and acknowledge. We just don't want to have a lot of tension uh, directed back to you, but absolutely. This is feeling weird for him. Treat to him and then two away. And those two treat tosses away are very important. You can see he's, he's understanding now a little bit of the, the pattern we're doing. Those two treat tosses are important because they reduce any social pressure that he might be feeling, right? It's like, whew, I get to move away. And it also puts him in the seeking system. So he's looking for the treats. It also teaches him how to move away because a lot of dogs there's a safe zone at the point at which he stops. A lot of dogs don't know how to move away. They move up close and then they find themselves like in an old oh, crap moment and then they start barking. So we're also teaching them how to move away. He stops, treat to dog and then two away. Now here's where I'm saying to you, start shortening up your leash because we're going to give him a break. First rep, very well done. 